Hello, I am back and I am thinking about the schools I would like to create, you know, <clears throat> the exploratory classrooms, the schedules, the schedules for teachers, the schedules for subs, the schedules for people who fell in, the schedules, you know? There's so many people who like to work a lot, so it's up to the individual teachers to decide how much their aides will do for them. You know, I know it's almost impossible for people, for a lot of people to get along when you're um, enclosed in a building for so many hours together. And, you know, you have different levels of um, tolerance and different levels of, uh, well, you have different levels of tolerance. You have different ideas about how people should dress, different ideas about how people should um, carry themselves, their senses of humor and all of that. It's very difficult. But if everyone accepts Jesus and asks him to hang out, eventually there will be a lot of respect. Eventually. <clears throat> so, I know I've said things about people. I know I've started a few things and I know I've kept some things going and I've snapped at people, snapped back at them. And I know I've, I do do things like, I did things like that. And I'm hoping it's completely out of my system now. I truly do. You know, and for me, I do, I, I let things go eventually. I forget about them. I, and then I think to myself, what should I do? And then it comes back to my mind. And I, I, I just let it go. But then what I did becomes an issue. Anyways, but... I'm not going to get off track that much. So let's get back to the schools. You know, who is going to decide the core curriculum? You know, who's going to decide what, uh, what elementary through high through what K through 12 should be learning? No matter what. And, you know, how are we going to arrange it so that in the high school, at the high school level, students have the ability to take whatever they want as their electives. But, or a different course of study. So, I don't know, because maybe there should be an extra course of study along with electives, exploratory classrooms, workshops, <sighs> assemblies, all of that. And schools that stay open 24 hours, well, maybe not 24 hours, but it would be nice. But maybe not 24 hours. But schools. Schools that are safe. 
and stay open late. Open early and stay open late. You know. And families can go there and visit the schools. Maybe not every day, but, it, you know, every once in a while. <clears throat> they have that now called open house. <laughs> so, of course. Uh, anyway, I, uh, and then what are people, what do people consider the knowledge? What knowledge? What do people consider knowledge? You know, because knowledge has so many facets to it. And I wrote a paper about it a long time ago. And I don't remember everything I wrote, but thinking about it, thinking about it now, I think to myself, you know, there's so many levels of knowledge. Like, Knowing, well, just knowing how to move. When you're born, you know how to move. And it may be instinctive. So there's instinctive knowledge. And then there is, um, and then there is just regular passive knowledge. And then acquired knowledge. And learned knowledge. There's so many different aspects to it. And when you're talking about educating the entire student, you have to take all of these things into account. You know? And I'm going to leave it there because I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So I'll leave it there. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to change the subject now. I hope you enjoyed the jewelry. I liked it. I didn't even pay attention to it before. And I look at it now and, I'm, you know, all the blue pieces are very nice. I really like them. And... I had more pins. There were a lot more pins in there, but I don't know what happened to them. My mother must have gone through them. <sighs> so, but it doesn't matter. They're around the house somewhere. And so I separated the jewelry into a bag. Because I was lying down and I said, you know what, I'm not going to get up right now. So it's all in a bag and all I have to do is bring it to the dresser and put it in the different boxes. So. <clears throat> bring the bag to the dresser and put all the jewelry in the different boxes. Anyway, um, not that you didn't know that. I just clarified just because. I don't know why I clarified. Um, so, and that was my foot on the ottoman. So, um, I don't want anyone to get the wrong ideas. <laughs> I was watching, some, so I'm going to change the subject again. And I was watching some of my vlogs from July 2017. And I, I saw the drum cases. And I saw the white pants with the with the lace that I sewed on them. What else did I see? There was one other thing I saw. I saw the rings and you know, and I was talking. Very ill. My men have cleared me to wear my creations. My men don't let me wear my creations. I do have men. But I wonder why. I still, I wonder why. Why are people allowed 
to come into my house and uh, put toilet paper in, in the drain and then flood the basement and ruin everything over and over again. This should not be allowed to happen. So, um, I don't know. All I can say is please pray for all of Cleveland, all of humanity, my men, if you would. And me and my family. Everyone needs prayers. Everyone could use prayers. Anyway, so, uh, and if you don't like prayers or like the idea that you may need prayers, then I apologize. I apologize. You know. But I was watching July, and I really do miss those drum cases. Oh, I was, uh, I also saw the print by Gordon Sinedo and of the Coors um, collection. I miss all of that stuff. I do. But what can I say? It was... It's all gone now. The drum cases were so nice to have. I really enjoyed having those drum cases. I really enjoyed having those pants. I wish I had finished them. And all the artwork I was able to acquire, I miss it all. I miss it all. It's never there anymore when I go to the thrift store. It's not there anymore. So, now, I have to um, find new outlets. I have to find new outlets if I'm going to shop again, you know, because, you know, I should never have showed the thrift store I go to, any of them, or mentioned their names because everything gets taken so quickly at all the thrift stores I used to go to. You know, it's all gone, the good stuff, the stuff on sale. It's, it, it goes so fast. And this year, Goodwill did not sell a ton of socks. At least not when I was there. Maybe people bought them up on Sunday when they changed their prices and offer things half off. Maybe. Maybe people buy them up then. But there hasn't been an abundance of socks at Goodwill like there were last year. I, and I'm so glad I stocked up last year. I bought so many pairs of socks last year. And I bought so many gloves and hats and scarves. And the hats, gloves, and scarves, a lot of them are missing. So, what can I say? I have to look around the house and see if I can find them somewhere. But some of them were left in my car. Some of them, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe left at my sister's house or my brother's house. <clears throat> anyway. It was nice. It was very, very nice. To see those three things. The drum cases. white pants with the lace on it and the print by Gordon Snitto. 
It was very nice. <sighs> that was such a happy year. It was such a happy, happy year. I really enjoyed that year, you know. And I'd love to enjoy more the way I enjoyed that year. You know, so many things are so serious right now for humanity, for me. It's always been serious for me. But it's so serious right now. There has to be some levity or some outlet for people. Something. And for me, before I had sewing and before I had art and before I had jewelry making and before I did a lot of things that I used to do and, and now want to get back to some of it in a different form, um, I had people, but they had ulterior motives, and then I had comedy. I would just watch comedies to uh, alleviate some of the tension, you know, some of the, some of the evil that was so oppressive, some of the illness that they put on me, so many things, but now, all these years later, and I said it before, and I'm saying it again, because I've realized it, I realized it a long time ago. Many years, even before the vlog, years before the vlog started, what I came to realize was that the comedies were very evil. Very evil. And they, you know, they just, they were evil. And so... Now, what do I look for? Hollywood, all along. You know? I like classic movies. They're cleaner. But, uh... I have to just agree a little bit with the left and say there isn't enough representation of all the of all the um, people who make up the United States. And I have to say that now about Hollywood. There still isn't enough representation. Although I haven't really paid that much attention. So I can't say that for sure. So I'm going to retract that. Because I haven't been paying attention to Hollywood. I don't want to. I don't like what they stand for. And they stand for things that are secretive. And I've said as much as I could at this point. But they stand for so much more. So much more evil. And the New World Order. And they're in cahoots with the government. And... You know, and then if I continue, then it's all uh, a, uh, no, I forgot, some kind of theory, I forgot. So I will just uh, not say anything right now. I won't, I won't say anything yet. I'll continue on Hollywood. But I said so much about what they're like and all the stuff that they put out. And right now they're promoting different things, you know, and <sighs> slowly they make everything that is taboo 